We come into the new week, the final week of full trade for the year, with U.S. equities up at fresh record highs and the pound going through a major turnaround. The catalysts for these developments come from the news of the agreed terms of the U.S.-China Phase 1 trade deal and strong majority government for Boris Johnson in the U.K. election. There's also been another major driver of all this price action, which has been the Fed's latest communication leaning even more dovish than expected last Wednesday. This bias is a bias that has opened more broad-based downside pressure on the U.S. dollar as yield differentials move out of the buck's favor and a concurrent bout of support for stocks on the lower-for-longer free money message. We're used to seeing trends push in the direction they've been moving into lighter holiday trade, and so this could translate to even more demand for stocks and even more selling of the U.S. dollar as the final days of 2019 wind down. Volatility in 2019 was astoundingly low, and when volatility gets that low, it usually means we're that much closer to a surge in volatility. We wonder if the recent selling in the U.S. dollar is sending a message of such volatility to come. Looking at the calendar for the day, key standouts come in the form of manufacturing PMI reads out of Germany, the Eurozone, UK, and US. That's all for now.